We feel it almost every day, but how does it work? Wind can have a major impact on our daily lives. Storm Team 10's Brady Harp explains what causes it. Windy conditions will be moving into the Wabash Valley over the next couple of days, but what exactly causes the air to move and create wind? Wind, like most weather on Earth, begins with the sun. The sun will warm up air around the Wabash Valley, and that warmer air likes to move up. Warmer air always likes to travel up, so that creates an area of low pressure, and that just means that there's less air pushing down on the Wabash Valley. Anytime we get a low pressure system, that means there's not as much air pushing down on us, and Mother Nature doesn't like that, and that's where wind comes in. Wind just moves air from another location and brings it into the Wabash Valley, and that's why you feel the air move. Now, where does the air that causes wind come from? Now, you've probably heard Storm Team Tim talk about high pressure and low pressure systems before, and all that means is high pressure is when air pushes down on the Wabash Valley. Now, a low pressure system means air is being lifted up, and Mother Nature does not like this, so it's always going to try to even the air out, so it's going to move air wherever it's needed. And Mother Nature moving the air around is what you feel as wind. And the bigger difference between the high pressure and low pressure systems, the stronger the wind will be. Obviously, strong winds can cause damage to property, so make sure you have the latest forecast information to make sure you and your property are safe. In Clark County, I'm Brady Hart, Storm Team 10.